Okay, welcome. This is going to be a lecture on uh, negative space contraline drawing for unit three of the drawing one class. And if you could zoom in on this just for a quick second so mm -hmm. they can see, because otherwise they might not even see the under the starting drawing. So the first thing I did was I did a lot of measuring lines, just kind of measuring out the spaces between things. You can kind of see that the chair is sort of there, but not quite there. I didn't want to draw the chair too thoroughly because the goal is for me to focus on the negative space shapes, not the positive. So I'm going to start by just picking out individual negative space shapes and then trying to measure them very clear, clear, clearly and carefully and then draw each negative space shape as I see it. So the first one I'm going to start with is this negative space shape right here. And I'm going to just kind of carefully measure it in pencil first before I'm pretty confident and I'm going to one string cheese and that's it. So I'm doing this in a black color pencil, but I might actually switch to a sharper pencil. It might give me slightly darker lines that might be a little bit easier for you guys to see. Okay, and then the next negative space shape I'm gonna pick is this shape right here. And once again, it's really important when you're doing a negative space a contra line drawing that you try to stop thinking about the object and the positive. Instead, think of the negative space shape as a positive thing. And although I have a lot of kind of a, a lot of these lines that are sort of beginning stage lines, I still need to react in the moment. So if that changes my drawing slightly because of what I see of that negative space shape, so be it. Now, you might notice that this approach to drawing is in some ways quite different from what we were doing with gesture drawing. I'm onto this negative space shape. And as you can see, I've actually done a good deal of kind of measuring its internal area, just kind of get a feel for its space. This is quite different from the gesture drawing that we did in the first unit and the contour line drawing. One of the main differences is that when you're doing a negative space contour drawing, it's really about training yourself to see flat. Everything else we've been doing, the understanding that there's volume in the drawing is kind of a built-in inherent idea. But here, we're really trying to train ourselves to see kind of like a camera really as flat, in terms of flat shapes as possible. So it's quite different in some ways, but in some ways it's very similar to a blind contour drawing or other kind of continuous contour line drawings in that it's about um, focusing on one aspect. In this case, instead of focusing on line, we're not really focusing on line, we're focusing on shape, we're focusing on each individual, and we're foc focusing specifically on negative space shapes as a way to try to understand the drawing. And by focusing on those negative space shapes, because those are very abstract things, because they're very abstract things, therefore we, um, let's see, what do I see right there? What right about that? And then over to about there. Because they're these unnameable shapes, right? All of these shapes that I'm drawing, they don't have a name. We can't call them Bob. Well, I guess we could if we wanted to. But instead, I'm not thinking, like I'm not thinking about that as the edge of the seat of the chair. I'm thinking of that as the edge of this negative space shape. And by doing that, it forces me to think more abstractly and therefore more accurately. And then that may be a really strange concept for some students to understand, but when you're drawing, oftentimes the more abstract you see the shapes and the organization of lines, the more likely you are to see them accurately. 
I'm going to shift my angle just a little bit to get that line. It goes like that. Close. Okay, and then I'm going to move to this negative space shape. Notice, other than that spot right there, I've avoided drawing the very outside contour. I'm trying to focus on the internal negative space shapes as much as possible because those are more clearly shapes and I'm less likely to make decisions about the chair and more likely to see just the shapes. And you might notice that in certain places like in here, although I had measurements and decisions that I made at an earlier stage, I was willing to change them based on um, things that I saw when I was looking just at that shape. So we really only have two more internal negative space shapes to go to look at. We have this one right here. And just like when we're doing like a continuous contour line drawing or a blind contour line drawing, really paying attention to that shape, shape very carefully, really paying attention to the lines of that shape very carefully is a really critical part to doing this well. Right, and now instead of necessarily going all the way around, I'm going to focus just on the places where I can still really kind of think about the outside, this as the positive thing as much as possible. Left. Minute and a half? Okay. All right, we may not get the whole drawing complete, but I think we get enough done for everyone to see the general point. Now, if I hadn't done a lot of pre-measuring, I would have probably had to take a lot more time to decide exactly where I saw that break that line. But I did a lot of back and forth measuring comparing this distance to that distance. So I was pretty confident I was right or close to right in that spot. And I'm gonna speed this up since we only have like 30 seconds left just to uh, finish this. Want me to stop right at nine? No, we can, I mean, we can go okay. to nine and a half, that's fine. We've got a little bit wide right there. Here's I'm rushing things. 30 seconds. All righty. Okay, so once again, to reiterate, I started with the internal negative space shapes first and drew them. And I, before I did any of these lines drawings, I did a lot of measuring about these distances and these distances, and just getting a feel, trying to draw the negative space shape at the beginning stage as much as in the final stage, really focusing on each of these as individual things that I'm trying to figure out. All right, that's the end of the first part of the demo. Thank you.